You're looking at the Kitty Agogo litter box. Kitty Agogo was founded in 2003 by a designer slash former clothing buyer and a medical design engineer. But in 2010, it was acquired by automated pet care products. They're the ones that make the litter robot. It's an automatic litter box that you might have seen at some point. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about the features and benefits of the Kitty Agogo litter box. Charlie says hi. Bob, you're saying hi? So some of the features are that it has a pull-out litter tray, and if I can get Charlie to move. So when you pull it out, it makes it easy to access. It's also made of high quality, high impact stain resistant plastic and it has a large capacity litter tray so you can see that um, you know Charlie fits in it nicely. It also comes with a replacement liner so it's easy to pull out and clean and there's no disassembly required to clean the litter tray and it cleans in just seconds because it has a built-in sifter rake and so all you do is pull on this to bring all the waste out of the litter box. It also has a built-in scoop storage so I'm going to close it back up and scoot it on its side. So this, this, actually this is the handle, so if you want to move it someplace, um, you can just pick it up there. These are air vents to let air out. And then it comes with a litter scoop, although hopefully you won't need one because of the rake. But, and the litter scoop um, lays perfectly flat on the back of the litter box. It also comes with this door flap and it's uh, it fits right over the entrance to the litter box and this is actually something that I sort of have a problem with um, I would not recommend putting a flap on a litter box because if you think about it an enclosed litter box can be problematic for a cat it's like if it's not cleaned enough and the odors aren't kept out of the litter box that's hooded uh, it can be like a human walking in to a Johnny on the spot and sometimes you know all you want to do is get out of that thing so if you're interested in the kitty a go go um, and your cat does fine with hooded litter boxes then um, I don't, you know, you could always try out the door and see how, the flap and see how, uh, what they think of it, but I'm not a big fan of it because I fear the problems that it might cause because of the stories that I've heard on floppycats.com, um, and hooded litter boxes sometimes can mean that cats will have improper elimination behavior because they're hooded because of all the smells that they can harbor, however, my mom had a cat for 15 years that uh, operated out of a hooded litter box and never had a problem. So it just depends. If your cat's having improper elimination behavior, then I certainly wouldn't recommend a hooded litter box. But if you're just getting this for the first time um, and a new kitten, it might be worth a shot to see if it makes both of you happy. I like this um, so much because it's good looking. It actually comes in six different designs. And we got the polka dot, obviously. There's also black, leopard, wood grain, flower print, and metallic. And they will actually do an order, a custom order with custom design if you um, do a minimum order of 500 of these. So if you're a wholesaler watching this video, that might be an option for you as well. I wanted to give you a quick idea of the dimensions. The height is 16 inches. 
The length is 21 inches. The width is 18.25 inches. The entrance height is 8.8 .8 inches high and the entrance width ranges between 10 and 12 inches wide. Now, as far as the height inside the box, I haven't been able to measure that, but it's gonna depend also on the amount of litter that you put inside of it. So I'm gonna do that now and show you what it's like. So I've just put litter in it. I'm gonna close the drawer. Trig loves new litter. So let's see if I'll go to the bathroom in there. One of the reasons also why a hooded litter box can be bad for like a large breed cat like Trig is that they can't arch their back. Like when they go number two, they need to be able to arch their back in order to do it. I mean, they're almost like at a sitting position. Now for peeing, it's not that big of a deal. Um, <laughs> Trig has decided not to go to the bathroom, but rather lay in it. Which um, brings me to one of the points that I wanted to make about this. This thing is incredibly cute for a bed. I mean, to have this drawer, um, I was thinking about it, if you had a rescue or um, a shelter of some sort, then you could um, have the kitty a go go and just put a blanket in there and then it would be so easy just to pull the cat out rather than trying to reach in there and they're trying to pull back and all that kind of stuff the drawer makes it really easy and I also wanted to show you that if you lift up on the door drawer I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it one-handed it's just like any drawer like in a file cabinet, there we go. If you lift up on it slightly, it undoes it from the hinges. So it can be completely taken out. And you could clean that part separately. So I actually poured water um, on the litter to show you how this rake works and how to get the litter out of the the kitty a go go. So that's how easy it comes out and then you just lift it up like that. Now you would need to have a trash can wide enough to dump that into so that might be a consideration if you're buying this um, to you know have a trash can that you can easily just toss that into and it would need to be as wide as the rake I would guess so you don't get um, <laughs> clumps of pee and, and uh, potty all over your floor. I also wanted to mention that they have accessories on their website that you can buy. You can buy an extra hand scoop, which I showed before is stored on the back. It does, you know, come with the litter box. Um, you can also buy litter tray liners like the plastic one that I showed earlier in this video. And then you can buy extra of these metal sifting rakes. The Kitty A Go Go is currently priced, it is now April 2012, and it's priced at $129. But they have a button on their site where you can get $30 off if you just, you know, tell two friends about it. And then, um, so then the price becomes $99. Overall, I think that the Kitty A Go Go box was cleverly designed for efficiency purposes to help out humans. Um, I would not recommend it for a large breed cat. The height within the litter box and the width is a little bit too small for a large breed cat. But as I said earlier in this video, there are situations where a large breed cat would be fine. You know, you just have to know your cat to know whether or not it would be a good candidate for um, the Kitty Go Go. And, you know, if I had a, a short 7 pound cat rather than a tall 17 pound cat, I think that a short 7 pound cat would like this very much. Um, but I, I really do like it so much as a bed. 
because cats do like um, enclosed areas for beds. It's good looking, it's cute. Um, it'd be fun to put, you know, in a room. It wouldn't be gross looking. So if you're interested in it as a bed, it's fabulous. Um, and if you're interested in it as a litter box, then I say it could definitely work out. Just be um, cautious and if it's, if your cat has elimination, be improper elimination behavior, then um, there's lots of other things that you need to look into. A uh, hooded litter box will probably not help that. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. A link to Kitty Agogo's website will be in the description of this video, as well as a link to all of our product reviews so you can see uh, more videos like this. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we feature products like this often. Thanks so much for watching.